sa pagbabago ng mundo, ang samahan dito sa aming hapag nagbago rin. Ngunit Eden lang ang kailangan para magkasali ulit sa hapag at pasarapin ang pagsasama ng pamilya. Bawat kagat na paglalapit ko ang aking pamilya. Ito ang mga moment sa hapag na talaga namang kay sarap nam namin. Eden. Chop kinya! Pitay duwe! Chop kin pak! Pitay duwe! Pitay duwe dan chin tuk mu! Hai kun dai pert roi yim sot chin! Dan chin! Quy số 1 nước Pháp Hòa quyện giữa bơ pháp hảo hạng và sô-cô-la mềm mịn Kết tình trăm năm kinh nghiệm làm bánh Là món quà đẳng cấp tặng người thân Lưu tinh hoa nghệ thuật làm bánh Pháp สุดหยุดเคี้ยวไม่ได้ใหม่มาฝรั่งเดนทีนไอศครีมรสซอเตอร์คาราเมลและโคลาโฟลดอร่อยได้นานไอ้น้ำเทิงแองแก้วจิ๋งจองงอกงาวมืดมิ่นหยอละงองฮับหยิงใช่ลมเบขอเกิงนุ่งนางบึงติ๋นเบื่อกว้างงกุซีวันเดอร์ฟูลส์จองสีตึงขวัญคักวิสุกุลาฟาอิงมัดเมย There's goodness in everyone. New Paul's Excess Red Bull. Flavor. Tiger now has crackers in leche flan flavor. Wow, bago to ah. New Tiger Crackers. Food trip, na good trip. Also in Ensaymada and plain flavors.
ตรียมลมหายใจเย็นสดชื่นไปกับฮอนยูแคนแฮฟวันวันเอเวอร์ทิ้งส์เรดอร่อยขั้นสุดหยุดเคี้ยวไม่ได้ใหม่มาฝรั่งเดนทีนไอศครีมรสซอเตอร์คาราเมลและโคลาโฟลดอร่อยได้นานลองหอนเอ็กเอสมิ้นใหม่แก้เซ็งไหมอร่อยหอมกลิ่นผลไม้โอ้เติมความสนุกทุกไลฟ์สไตล์หอมสดชื่นคนตีได้ใจเอาอีกเปล่ากับหอนเอ็กเอสมิ้นใหม่ We are the makers and bakers of Mondelez International, the world's leader in global snacking. Our future has never been brighter, tastier, healthier, sweeter, crunchier, or bolder. We're pushing the boundaries of what's possible with fresh questions, ideas, and perspectives. We are ready to disrupt. It's our mission to lead the future of snacking around the world by offering the right snack for the right moment, made the right way. We are snacking made right. This opens up exciting possibilities because if you make it with us, you make it with pride. You'll work with brands that people fall in love with. They remind us of our childhood. The warmth, the delight, the memories. We are constantly innovating for the future. As our world and tastes change, so do we. With us, you make it uniquely yours because we want you, just as you are, leaning in, speaking up, and challenging your limits. With us, you make it a better world. Being global isn't about being big; it's about being part of something bigger than yourself. A place where the world is yours to protect as well as enjoy. A place where days are filled with different voices, different possibilities, different cultures, but driven by the same shared purpose: empowering people to snack right. With us, you make it happen. We're hungry to seize every opportunity and stretch towards new challenges, loving what we do, but not taking ourselves too seriously. With us, you'll have the space to make a difference, to do more, learn more, and grow more. Make it with pride. Make it uniquely yours. Make it a better world. Make it happen. Make it with Mondelez International. Snacking made right. Thank you. Thank you for all the times we've crunched, cracked, munched, dunked, twisted, and mmmed together. 
thank you for all the love you've shown us. Returning that love is what inspires us. At Mondelez International, we understand that the way you live is changing the way you eat. And that you don't want to choose between snacking and eating right. Right for a delicious bite. Right for your well-being. Right for our planet. That's why at Mondelez International, we want to make snacking right. All around the world, our makers and bakers are passionate about bringing you the right snack. For the right moment, made, made the, the right, right way. way. Mondelez International. Snacking made right. We are the makers and bakers of Mondelez International, the world's leader in global snacking. Our future has never been brighter, tastier, healthier, sweeter, crunchier, or bolder. We're pushing the boundaries of what's possible with fresh questions, ideas, and perspectives. We are ready to disrupt. It's our mission to lead the future of snacking around the world by offering the right snack for the right moment made the right way. We are snacking made right. This opens up exciting possibilities because if you make it with us, you make it with pride. You work with brands that people fall in love with. They remind us of our childhood, the warmth, the delight, the memories. We are constantly innovating for the future. As our world and tastes change, so do we. With us, you make it uniquely yours. Because we want you, just as you are, leaning in, speaking up, and challenging your limits. With us, you make it a better world. Being global isn't about being big. It's about being part of something bigger than yourself. A place where the world is yours to protect as well as enjoy. A place where days are filled with different voices, different possibilities, different cultures, but driven by the same shared purpose. Empowering people to snack right. With us, you make it happen. We're hungry to seize every opportunity and stretch towards new challenges, loving what we do, but not taking ourselves too seriously. With us, you'll have the space to make a difference, to do more, learn more, and grow more. Make it with pride. Make it uniquely yours. Make it a better world. Make it happen. Make it with Mondelez International. Snacking made right. Thank you. Thank you for all the times we've crunched, cracked, munched, dunked, twisted, and mmmed together. Thank you for all the love you've shown us. Returning that love is what inspires us. At Mondelez International, we understand that the way you live is changing the way you eat. And that you don't want to choose between snacking and eating right. Right for a delicious bite. Right for your well-being. Right for our planet. That's why at Mondelez International, we want to make snacking right. All around the world, our makers and bakers are passionate about bringing you the right snack. For the right moment, made, made the, the right, right way. way. Mondelez International, snacking made right. We are the makers and bakers of Mondelez International, the world's leader in global snacking. Our future has never been brighter, tastier, healthier, sweeter, crunchier, or bolder. We're pushing the boundaries of what's possible with fresh questions, ideas, and perspectives. We are ready to disrupt. It's our mission to lead the future of snacking around the world by offering the right snack for the right moment made the right way. We are snacking made right. This opens up exciting possibilities because if you make it with us, you make it with pride. You work with brands that people fall in love with. They remind us of our childhood, the warmth, the delight, the memories. We are constantly innovating for the future. As our world and tastes change, so do we. 
With us, you make it uniquely yours because we want you, just as you are, leaning in, speaking up, and challenging your limits. With us, you make it a better world. Being global isn't about being big. It's about being part of something bigger than yourself. A place where the world is yours to protect as well as enjoy. A place where days are filled with different voices, different possibilities, different cultures, but driven by the same shared purpose. Empowering people to snack right. With us, you make it happen. We're hungry to seize every opportunity and stretch towards new challenges. Loving what we do, but not taking ourselves too seriously. With us, you'll have the space to make a difference, to do more, learn more, and grow more. Make it with pride. Make it uniquely yours. Make it a better world. Make it happen. Make it with Mondelez International. Snacking made right. Thank you. Thank you for all the times we've crunched, cracked, munched, dunked, twisted, and mmmed together. Thank you for all the love you've shown us. Returning that love is what inspires us. At Mondelez International, we understand that the way you live is changing the way you eat. And that you don't want to choose between snacking and eating right. Right for a delicious bite. Right for your well-being. Right for our planet. That's why at Mondelez International, we want to make snacking right. All around the world, our makers and bakers are passionate about bringing you the right snack. For the right moment, made, made the, the right, right way. way. Mondelez International, snacking made right. We are the makers and bakers of Mondelez International, the world's leader in global snacking. Our future has never been brighter, tastier, healthier, sweeter, crunchier or bolder. We're pushing the boundaries of what's possible with fresh questions, ideas and perspectives. We are ready to disrupt. It's our mission to lead the future of snacking around the world by offering the right snack for the right moment made the right way. We are snacking made right. This opens up exciting possibilities because if you make it with us, you make it with pride. You'll work with brands that people fall in love with. They remind us of our childhood, the warmth, the delight, the memories. We are constantly innovating for the future. As our world and tastes change, so do we. With us, you make it uniquely yours because we want you, just as you are, leaning in, speaking up, and challenging your limits. With us, you make it a better world. Being global isn't about being big. It's about being part of something bigger than yourself. A place where the world is yours to protect as well as enjoy. A place where days are filled with different voices, different possibilities, different cultures, but driven by the same shared purpose. Empowering people to snack right. With us, you make it happen. We're hungry to seize every opportunity and stretch towards new challenges, loving what we do, but not taking ourselves too seriously. With us, you'll have the space to make a difference, to do more, learn more, and grow more. Make it with pride. Make it uniquely yours. Make it a better world. Make it happen. Make it with Mondelez International. Snacking made right. Thank you. Thank you for all the times we've crunched, cracked, munched, dunked, twisted, and mmmed together. Thank you for all the love you've shown us. Returning that love is what inspires us. At Mondelez International, we understand that the way you live is changing the way you eat. And that you don't want to choose between snacking and eating right. Right for a delicious bite. Right for your well-being. Right for our planet. That's why 
At Mondelez International, we want to make snacking right. All around the world, our makers and bakers are passionate about bringing you the right snack. For the right moment, made, made the, the right, right way. way. Mondelez International. Snacking made right. as juicy as a glass of tang. Are your snap decisions as good as the snap of a tiger biscuit? We are pushing boundaries of what's possible with fresh questions, ideas, and perspectives. We are ready to disrupt, and we believe that you can too. Good afternoon, Southeast Asia. Good afternoon, and mabuhay from Manila. Yes, good afternoon, and salamat patang from Malaysia too. I am excited for today's big agenda. Who would have thought that we would reach April this soon? Time flies so fast, right, EG? You are correct, Felice. It's already April 9, which means that today is also the grand launch for the first ever Mondelez Southeast Asia Virtual Competition, the Leading Edge Business Challenge. And you know what, Felice? It's going to be a day filled with inspiration and learnings and do you know that our Mondelez leaders are here with us today? Oh, indeed. It is a jam-packed and exciting day. But EG, they don't know us yet. So maybe I can introduce myself first. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for streaming in today for the Leading Edge Business Challenge Grand Launch. My name is Felicity Nixon, a Monash University alumna and a former graduate trainee from the July 2019 intake badge of Mondelez, Malaysia. And I am E.G. Natanawan, a proud alumnus from De La Salle University, Manila, and a former graduate trainee from Batch 11 of the Philippines. And we are your hosts for today. All right, E.G., how about we engage the viewers for today? Let us know, guys, where you all are streaming from. What university, country? Let us know by typing in the chat box below. All right, so let's check out our chat box. I see that people are streaming live from Singapore. People are streaming live from the Philippines as well. We have also from Thailand, Malaysia. Wow, amazing. Animo Lasal. I could see that. All right, and I could really feel the energy just from the chat box. So um, I'm really pumped up for all the event that we have for today. So I won't keep you guys waiting. So let's start the ball rolling. Yes, and since everyone's already so pumped up, let's kick things off. We'll be doing a very simple and quick game session for our viewers. And this is called Monday Who. Alright, so let's do the Monday Who. This will be a very quick game for us to test your knowledge on who or what Mondelez is. Okay, why don't you go ahead, EG? Yes, so I believe that these students are very much excited to play this game. So we will be flashing some questions on the screen and all you have to do, guys, 
is to quickly type in your answer. As simple as that. So I guess, uh, Felicity, before we reveal the first question, let's ask again our viewers if they are all ready. So if you guys can type in, I am ready. Let's check our chat box. Yes, I guess they are ready. So Felice, I think we could start off with our first question. Okay, everyone. Let's see. Okay, sounds easy. So for the first question, did you know that Mondi de derives from the Latin word world and delis is just a fanciful expression of delicious? In short, Mondelez means delicious world. And now the question is, where is the Mondelez International's headquarters located? Is it Vaughanville, Birmingham, UK, Metro Manila, the Philippines, or Chicago, Illinois, US, or Sao Paulo, Brazil? Why don't you type in your answers now? Oh, uh, hey, I think I could see some answers already. Some are answering Chicago. Some, I think most of them are answering Chicago. Wow. So let's see if that is the correct answer. Felice, can you please reveal the correct answer? Okay. The correct answer is, ta-da, Chicago, Illinois, U.S. Wow. I think got the correct answer. All right. Please let's move on to the next question. Next slide, please. Ooh, wow. I can see Oreo. You know what, Feliz? Oreo is really one of my favorite snack food brands. And as you all know, Oreo is one of Mondelez International's global brands. Now, the question is, can you guess how many Oreo cookies we made in Southeast Asia in 2020? So here are your choices. Is it 10 million cookies, 20 million cookies, 2 billion cookies, or is it 6 billion cookies? Type it off right now in the chat box. So let's see their guesses. Let's see their guesses. Okay, Felice? Okay, so while everybody's typing in the answers and taking a good guess as to what is the true answer? Let's uh, share some trivia. So did you know, E.G., that Oreo has recently celebrated its 109th birthday, which makes it a centenarian? Get it? And this brand has also proven how diversifyingly playful it is through the latest Oreo Thins and Wafer Rolls launches. Indeed, and I am a big fan of those products. Anyway, I could see that we have a lot of different answers coming in, but I will be revealing the correct answer. So the correct answer is... Wow, that is a lot. Go, Sia. And now moving on to the last question. Let's switch tracks a bit to Toblerone. And Toblerone now comes from the word Tobler plus Torone. Tobler being derived from Jean Tobler, who founded the company in 1908, while Torone means, well, that's for you guys to figure out. And here are your options. Is it a Swiss word for mountain or an Italian word for honey and almond nougat or the name of Jean Tobler's son or perhaps an Italian word for triangle? Could be anything random, to be honest. So type your answers in now. What a very challenging questions, but let's yep. see if our viewers We'll get it right. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Wow, a lot of guesses are coming right now. So let's reveal the correct answer. And the correct answer is... Well, the correct... Which means Italian word for honey and almond nougat. So that's about it, partner. And with that, we wrap up our Monday Who quiz session. Don't worry about making mistakes, guys. You'll have more opportunities to learn and discover our brands as you progress through the challenge. Definitely. So now I think it's time to proceed to the next part of our program. So we just finished with Monday Who. So now let's head on to Monday Wow. All right, so let's begin. For our Monday WOW segment, we have invited our very own Mondelez International Southeast Asia president. 
Correct. And this enthusiastic guy started his career with Mondelez as the vice president for chocolate in Northern Europe. He then found his way in Singapore to lead the Southeast Asia team. He loves doing physical outdoor activities with his friends and family. And you know what, Feliz? He is sometimes dubbed as the Matt LeBlanc of Mondelez. <laughs> Yes, and with all due respect, E.G., I can really see why. And that was an astounding intro. I'm certain that he has been through a rich experience of highlights and turnarounds in his journey from a professional and personal front. So we're excited to really know more about our president and hopefully get some tips about how he started just like us as an early talent in the FMCG industry. Without further ado, E.G., let's welcome and give it up for our Southeast Asia president, Glenn Caton. Well, thank you for that wonderful, warm welcome and start EG and Felicity. Uh, I learned something new about Mondelez there. And if I'm enthusiastic, EG, I don't know what we describe you as, uh, a bundle of energy. So thank you so much for the warm introduction to the Leading Edge Challenge. Hi, everybody. As uh, Felicity said, I'm Glenn Caton, and I've got the privilege to lead Mondelez's International Southeast Asia Business Unit. Firstly, let me say thank you all for joining. I know you'll have busy lives uh, and lots going on on a Friday evening, so I don't want to keep you from the weekend too long. We do appreciate your time investing in learning about Mondelez and our Business Edge Challenge. I also want to say I do hope you and your families have kept safe and well through the last year. It's been uh, quite a challenging year for all of us across the world and, and particularly here in Southeast Asia in a number of our markets. Throughout that time at Mondelez, the safety of our teams and taking care of each other has been the number one priority and it will remain so. So please, please do look after yourselves in these challenging times. Well, first a little bit about Mondelez in Southeast Asia. We're at just over a billion dollars today with some iconic global and local brands like Cadbury, Oreo, as uh, EG introduced there, Eden Cheese in Philippines, Tang, a wonderful powdered beverage brand in the Philippines, Chips More in Malaysia, Cozy and Bisquack Biscuits, uh, and many, many more. We also have 10 manufacturing sites across Southeast Asia and over 8,000 talented colleagues in the region. Our business here has enormous potential. Uh, Southeast Asia has around 600 million consumers. That's nearly double the size of the US or Europe, as an example. In the long term, post COVID, we expect GDP to continue to grow with both population growth and increases in uh, income per, per head. We've got trends like increasing urbanization, um, fragmented families, more families working. All of this leads to an increase in food consumption and particularly snacking behavior. And that's to the benefit of our business. So we've got an exciting future ahead and one we'd love you to be part of. To unlock that potential, we need one magic ingredient and that's you. We're always on the lookout to attract, develop and train the world's best talent so I'm delighted to see so many of you here today interested in Mondelez and our Leading Edge Business Challenge. Now, moving on a little bit, let me first share a bit about my life and career and some insights into the lessons I learned uh, in the last 25 years of work. So first of all, my family here, Liz, Joe and Sam. Liz, my wife and I met at Procter & Gamble 25 years ago on Sales College 1. Uh, and we're still happily married today. We have two wonderful boys, Joe and Sam, and you see us here in the Swiss mountains, somewhere we spent some time over our lives and uh, we miss uh, with COVID, haven't been back for a year and a half, so hopefully we'll be able to go back soon. I grew up in a small dairy and sheep farm in the north of England. My father left school at 13 to work on the farm, uh, but my mother had a slightly different background, uh, being from a, a more urban and wealthier background. She believed in the power of education and made it possible for me and my two brothers to go away to boarding school. 
There I had the opportunity to mix with people from all around the world, including Malaysia, Nigeria, Middle East, India and beyond. And that really gave me the desire to see the world and dream bigger than staying on the farm. I had the opportunity when I was 14 to visit one of those friends in Malaysia, traveling there independently. Uh, and there was quite a big thing for us as a family. My father's first trip outside Yorkshire was to Scotland when he was 33 and got married on his honeymoon. So me going off to Malaysia at 14 was a big deal for us all. And it was a truly mind opening experience for me personally. Uh, so I'm delighted to be back in this part of the world again, living in Singapore and working with the wonderful diverse people, cultures and brands across Southeast Asia. I started my career in Procter & Gamble, as I mentioned, uh, with Liz, my wife there, on a sales graduate training scheme. Uh, and after about 10 years in sales and marketing in the UK and Europe, I moved outside p and and became the marketing director of one of the world's largest consumer wine businesses. That's Ernst & Julio Gallo Winery in Modesto, California. I then did that for two or three, four years and moved over to an insurance business, helping set up a direct-to-consumer insurance business as part of a, a large UK insurer. And then finally, before rejoining Mondelez uh, to run Cadbury about eight years ago, I also ran one of the world's biggest consumer, direct-to-consumer wine businesses. So quite a diverse set of experiences, but certainly feel like I've found my long-term home here in Mondelez, and that's because of the brands and the people. So moving on, I often get asked a question from uh, talent across the region and beyond. Um, what is your advice to me, Glenn? How do I develop my career? And there's three things in, I think, both life and career that are fundamentally important to success. The first of these is to make a positive difference in everything you do. Your job at work, and frankly, purpose in life, is to leave things better than when you found them. It's as simple as that. If you're constantly finding new and better ways to do things, if you're coming up with solutions to problems, if you're making a positive difference to the business and the people around you, you will succeed in the long term. It's not about the time served in an organization. It's not really even about the experience or the CV. It's actually about the impact you make on the people and the business that you're part of. The second thing is to say that relationships are everything. Ultimately, we're human beings, and no matter how much digital transforms the world around us, we still have to work with each other, trust each other, respect each other, and enjoy each other's company. An old boss of mine once told me that the last step he did in any interview process of a senior team member was to go out to dinner with them and see if he frankly enjoyed their company. And the reason is you spend a lot of time with the people you work with. And he said, I could forgive people who make honest business mistakes, but I would fire people on the spot if they treated anyone else badly in the company. And I think that's a great principle. We all want to work with people in an environment of mutual respect where we can be ourselves at work and with people that you like, respect, and you share their values. Ultimately, it's not, you're not going to go far if you don't build strong relationships with those around you in life or at work. The final bit of advice for you is never stop learning. It's, it's easy for me to say, you all know it, the world is changing at a record pace, powered by technology and globalization. The barriers to entry are lower than ever before to start a new business. Everybody on this call today could set up a new company, source a new product, and sell it and market it to consumers around the world in an afternoon from your bedroom. Those trends are causing massive disruption in industry, after industry. The biggest taxi company today owns no cars. The biggest accommodation provider in Airbnb owns no property. The biggest media company in Facebook creates no content. And when I started work 25 years ago, would you believe the internet didn't exist as a commercial tool? And my first 
innovation at work was that I got a home email by a fixed line dialer in my first year in the company. And I, I've only been working 25 years. It's a re remarkable what's changed in that time. When I ask my kids today why they haven't answered my email, they look at me strangely and say, Dad, nobody uses email these days. Well, I certainly wish that was true in my daily life. It'll take some time before email, uh, I think, dies down. But you get a sense of the disruption happening. And so while the macro principles I learned 25 years ago about how to build a strong brand by understanding consumer needs, by making products of superior quality and value and great sales and marketing, how you do all of those things has completely transformed. And that change is accelerating today faster than ever. So to keep my skills relevant and for all of you, you have to be constantly unlearning old things and learning new skills every day so you stay relevant for the future tomorrow. So switching gears now and moving on to the leading edge challenge and design thinking as a concept. As I shared earlier, the things we previously thought were extraordinary are now becoming business as usual through the technology and digitization of the world. And that's why I'm constantly encouraging my team to find new ways of approaching what we do and how we do it. In fast moving consumer goods, consumers are at the heart of our business and design thinking, which is a mindset and methodology for creative problem solving, is fast becoming an essential skill across functions and industries in a digital first world. As part of the Leading Edge Business Challenge, we're offering a virtual learning lab for all participating students to learn design thinking and apply it in action. Design thinking at its heart is about walking in the consumer's shoes, starting with deep empathy. Through the design thinking process, you'll learn how to arrive at powerful insights and convert them into compelling opportunity statements. Ideate disruptively and ultimately build a prototype that you want to test with users. Over the coming weeks, we're looking forward to getting to know you more, sharing your learnings and seeing your creativity in action. Please remember to put the consumer first, collaborate well with each other and have a lot of fun in the process. All the very best of luck and back to uh, EG and Felicity. All right, that was just amazing. Thank you so much, Glenn, for that very inspiring message. Really insightful, especially for me, who is just starting out my career here. And I really love how you told us about the importance of the relationships that we have, making an impact, and believing in oneself. Yes, indeed. I was certainly inspired by Glenn's message from a professional and personal front, his insightful journey, the talk about how he achieved many breakthroughs and turnarounds, as well as his thought-provoking messages that we could all relate to and learn from. Correct, Elise. So before we head on to our next speaker, we want you guys to tune into this very playful TVC of Oreo. Watch this. Your order is on the way. Let's play, Mama! One minute, dear. Okay? Never stop playing. Never stop the fun. amazing TVC indeed. So Feliz, I think it's time for our next speaker. Yes. And just for your information, guys, our next speaker started her career in Mondelez as a graduate trainee, a fellow GT alumna. Hooray. She was previously part of the graduate trainee batch one in the Philippines and has stepped into multiple roles, a mix of local and regional positions where she led some of the biggest changes and transformations that the business has been through. And prior to her current role, she was our HR lead for the organizational effectiveness in Southeast Asia. And from some snapshots that we've recently seen of her, we can guess that she enjoys fun outdoor activities and knows how to live it up with her infectious smile. Exactly. That was a very, very nice introduction. So let's give it up for our Southeast Asia talent management lead, Ion Ozaita Mundin.
Thank you very much, Gigi and Feliz. Wow, I feel incredibly honored to speak to you all today. And this event brings me back to my graduate days. And it was 12, 13 years ago when I was just like you. I was, um, well, for me in Manila, I just completed my psychology degree from the University of the Philippines. And I was incredibly lucky to join Mondelez as a graduate trainee. And fast forward to today, I'm now based here in Singapore and I have the immense pleasure of leading across such a diverse region as Southeast Asia. And all the pictures that you see there on the screen, they tell so many stories from those 12 years, 12, 13 years. This place is really where I grew up. Mondelez is my home. And I thought rather than describe Mondelez to you, I can share with you maybe one story so that you have an idea of what life can be like in Mondelez. And one of my favorite memories is just a simple one very early in my career. I think it was just my second year in HR. Um, and during that time, the organization was undergoing a change and I was given an opportunity to travel overseas to learn a new process. I was supposed to teach this new process back to our team in the Philippines. So it seemed simple enough. I was extremely excited to be on a business trip. I mean, that's a sign that I'm grown up, right? I'm going on a business trip and I'm here to lead a change in my country. Now, the thing I kind of underestimated was that another part of that regional meeting was also a big focus on leadership culture. So in addition to process changes, we were also asked to re-inspire leadership in each of our countries. And I remember being on the plane going back to Manila feeling nervous because the process change I think I could handle, but re-inspiring our leadership culture, I mean, that sounded so vague and intangible and big, frankly. So when I came home, I shared this with our HR director at that time, so my boss's boss, and she told me that this was a fabulous challenge and she asked me to arrange a senior leadership forum to get this started. Now, when I say senior leadership forum, I mean senior leadership forum, the big bosses, the top of the top, including the board of management, which is what we used to call our leadership team at that time. And gosh, that those were the most stressful next few weeks of my life because how was I a very junior associate in the company? How was I supposed to inspire these leaders with a new vision for the future? I mean, isn't leadership a rank that you earn? Long story short, I led that senior leadership forum which was incredibly daunting, but I will never forget the trust that was given to me. I mean, they gave me the tools I needed for sure, but they let me apply my own style, my own vision of how to get it done. And that was when I started to realize that here, leadership is not a level, it's not a rank, but it's a mindset. So cut to the end, it turned out really well. And at the end of the workshop, as I was wrapping up in front, I remember our GM, so the biggest boss in the room, standing up and congratulating me and telling everyone that he felt the entire experience was so professional and so inspirational. And let me tell you, I could have started crying right there and then. So that's my very simple um, story or memory from a decade ago, um, but it's one that I've really held very close to my heart as I grew up in this company. I tell you that story today because I wanted to share an example of how much this company will take a bet on you as it has on me. And to this day, I still feel challenged to step away from my comfort zone and into my courage zone. Mondelez will ask you to lead, to be your best self, and to show us what you can bring to the table. So if you're looking for a company that's already kind of a big machine and you're just supposed to fit in and execute the same program, the same formula, this is not the place for you. What we need is your unique voice and your critical perspective. And that will mean that you'll need to step up, be courageous, and make the most of it. So good luck, everyone, in this competition. We're counting on each of you to be the leading edge in the future of snacking. We hope you'll rise to the challenge. Back to you, E.G. and Feliz. Wow, I feel so inspired, Ion. Thank you so much for sharing with us your experience. So from one GT to another, you rock. 
Agreed, E.G. A great takeaway by Ion that leadership is indeed a mindset. And for all of us ready to dive into our initial career journey post-university. An affirmation too, that we can all start somewhere and make a difference by carving our own career story, especially with a vibrant company like Mondelez. With that, I think we can now move on to the most exciting segment of this launch, the big agenda. All right, and I believe our viewers can't wait to hear about the big agenda that they will be facing in this competition. That is right, E.G., and I can't wait to meet our next guest speaker who will tell us more about what is in store for our students. Indeed, Feliz, our next speaker also started his career in Mondelez as a management trainee in United Kingdom. He moved to different roles and countries and he progressed his career with us. Currently, he is our HR lead for Mondelez Southeast Asia. Let us all welcome Richard Stone. Hi everyone, great to be with you this afternoon. Thanks so much for taking the time. So um, thanks guys for the introduction. I'm glad you didn't comment on my starting date because that will give my age away. But I say I'm Richard, HR, or as we call now people lead for Southeast Asia. And I'm super excited to be here with you today to share more about Leading Edge which is our first ever pan SCA business challenge for students. We are super excited to get the best student brains from across SCA working on real business challenges. Let me start by telling you what is unique about Leading Edge. Many of you would have participated in case study competitions in the past or be reading up on different case study competitions. Leading Edge is different. Firstly, we'd like you to choose the challenge that you'll work on. You will pick something that you're passionate about, an area where you would really like to create big impact. Secondly, you'll get to learn a new hot skill. And you heard Glenn talk about this a little earlier. And that skill is design thinking, something that will make you a better professional, no matter what discipline you've chosen. As you heard from Glenn, design thinking is a skill of the future. And it is something where you step into the shoes of the consumer and co-create solutions with them to get to great outcomes. Lastly, you'll get the joy of solving for a real human need and testing your idea with its actual users, something that no case study competition can give you. And not to forget all the amazing prizes in store, including a chance to be fast tracked into the Edge Stars, which is our graduate training program or Edge Sparks, our signature internship experience. So moving on. So I'll share a little bit more in terms of what you can expect from the Leading Edge Challenge. You see here, so the process that you'll be going through, the journey you'll be going through. So the journey to the country championship and to the Southeast Asia showdown is going to be super exciting. Each stage focuses on specific aspects of design thinking process and helps you practice the skill sets linked to that stage. As you heard from Glenn, you'll be kicking off with that design thinking lab, which is led by experts. This is exclusively for all registered participants. You will then move on to the subsequent stages. And let me walk you through that a little bit. Stage one, as you heard, is about empathy and define. You'll kick off your leading edge journey by knowing the people you're designing for. You'll immerse yourself in their experience and define the big opportunity you want to solve for. The second stage is to ideate and prototype. So brainstorm and arrive at your long list of ideas to address the big opportunity you've identified and select one of them to build out into a rough low fidelity prototype or rough model. Stage three is about testing and refining. You'll share your prototype and gain valuable feedback from the people that matter. That's the end users, the consumers. Get ready to present your findings and that will bring you on to the country championship. So at the country championship, you'll bring your best self and present your big idea and your prototype to our country leadership teams. The winner of that country championship will then move on to the Southeast Asia showdown. And this is where you'll really go for glory. The country champions will compete for the overall Southeast Asia championship title. And this will be a presentation in front of the Southeast Asia leadership team. So hopefully that gives you a good flavor of what you can expect over the next coming months. Moving on, and finally, 
Um, so what's in it for you? Hopefully you've got a good sense of this through what you've heard so far. The first thing, as we keep talking about, is you will learn design thinking from the experts, that hot skill for the future, something that it can equip you really, really well. There's a standout reward, so you can win up to 5,000 US dollars for the winning team. You'll get to represent your country in the Southeast Asia showdown. And as mentioned before, fast track to the final round application to either our Edge Sparks program, which is our internship program, or to the final round application of our Edge Stars program, which is our graduate trainee program for Southeast Asia. And how do you maximize your chance of success? The first thing as you've been hearing is put the consumer at heart, place yourself in their shoes, dream their dreams, understand their pain points. The second thing is agility over perfection. There is no perfect solution. Design something that best address the needs that you've identified, co-creating with that end user. And go for blue sky thinking, be disruptive, test your ideas, be bold and go for the one that works best. So hopefully this has given you all a good sense of the journey ahead. We hope you're excited as much as we are. Good luck. And now I'm going to hand back to EG and Felice. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so I can see from the chat box that they are all excited for the competition. So thank you so much again, Richard, for walking us through the challenge. Yes, and it's been an exciting session so far. To be honest, if I was still a student, I would definitely be psyched up to join this competition. Fortunately, I'm already in Mondelez. And now it's your time, guys, to show us what you got and hone your design thinking, the hot skill of the future. You got that right, Felice. And I guess our viewers are surely pumped up after hearing the big agenda from Richard. Truly a wonderful challenge for our viewers. And you know what else is wonderful? This TVC from Mondelez, Vietnam. Ai nắm thân em kéo chỉnh tròn, ngọt ngào ngước miệng rõ là ngon, hấp dẫn say lòng bề khó cưỡng, nồng nàn bừng tỉnh bởi quá ngon. Cozy Wonderfuls chọn vị tương khoảnh khắc với sô cô la và yến mạch mới. Wow, that ad is just wow. I hope I can go visit Vietnam already and have a taste of our Kindle brand. Indeed. And you know what, Feliz? We are so thrilled to have our sponsors with us this afternoon and allow us to introduce them one by one. Starting off with this lineup, our first sponsor is Prashant Perez, our country director for Indonesia. Next is Venkat Venepali, our Southeast Asia integrated supply chain director. We also have Mal Tayanko the Insights and Analytics Associate Director for Southeast Asia. Next is Jules Billinghurst, our Southeast Asia Corporate Government Affairs Lead. And to top it off, we have Vikram Karwal, our Marketing Excellence, Capability and E-Commerce Lead for Southeast Asia. Wow, exciting partner. And I really can't wait to see the challenge that they have in store for the students. Yes, partner. But of course, to shed some light on this exciting opportunity, we have Mao to represent our sponsor. So let's welcome her on board. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Felice. And good afternoon, everyone, and happy Friday. Joining a business challenge was one of the highlights of my university days, and I hope that the Leading Edge Business Challenge will be a highlight for you too. Today, on behalf of my co-sponsors, I am privileged to be sharing with you three exciting how might we business challenges. We hope that your team will take these challenges by the horns and apply design thinking with consumer centricity and human empathy at the heart. So without further ado, let me share with you the first challenge and it's all about e-commerce. E-commerce should not be a stranger to you given all of you are digital natives. As you might know, the e-commerce channel has been exploding with online grocery sales really expected to spike further. In fact, in the past year, e-commerce sales have grown exponentially, fueled by shopper and consumer behavior changes due to the pandemic. As you can imagine, consumers have been using technology as a lifeline. In fact, e-commerce penetration in Southeast Asia has doubled from 2018 to 2020. And we expect that this behavior should continue 
further solidifying our omni-channel shopping behavior and establishing e-commerce as a go-to channel for many shoppers. Globally, e-commerce is valued around $3.5 trillion, you know, around 20% of total retail sales. However, this is significantly under-indexed for Southeast Asia and more so for Mondelez, with still a minimal portion of our revenues coming from e-commerce. This thus presents a huge untapped opportunity. At the same time, new technology is also being brought in at a rapid speed to solve the challenges on fulfillment, personalization, and last mile innovation. With this, Mondelez in Southeast Asia needs to act fast and capitalize on the rise of e-commerce shopping. And as the market leader in most of our country and category combinations, we must lead the way in e-commerce and really establish our true leadership in this emerging channel. So this is the key challenge. What could be a good solution, platform, or plan that could help Mondelez really drive stronger relevance and purchase for our brands on e-commerce? And what does success look like? What are we looking for? Well, we would love for you to identify a specific opportunity across the four P's of e-commerce and develop a clear prototype to convert the concept into execution. Use blue sky thinking. Could it be a direct-to-consumer solution, a new way to target consumers? Is it a new product portfolio? It's all up to you. At the heart of it, the proposed solution should be solving a real consumer or human problem and bring more buyers and purchases to Mondelez. And the solution should be scalable and lead to profitable growth. Exciting and challenging? Definitely. And now we move on to the second challenge. At Mondelez International, we're guided by our purpose to empower people to snack right. We want to provide our consumers the right snack at the right moment, made and delivered the right way. And with this challenge, we want to focus on the right way pillar, which relates directly to our supply chain, spanning right from an ingredient farm to our consumers' hands. And as you can imagine, throughout the journey of our products, we make a direct impact on the environment, on the society, as well as the communities around us. So to ensure that we are enabling a sustainable future, we want to focus our efforts around a couple of areas, namely sustainable ingredients, environmental impact, packaging innovation, as well as to social sustainability. And here's where the challenge lies. How might we improve the sustainability of our supply chain while still delivering lower costs? So what kind of success are we looking for? Well, we are looking for a solution that is sustainable and can quantifiably improve any or all of the following along the supply chain while still delivering lower costs especially around lower carbon dioxide emissions, lower water usage, reducing waste generation, as well as new innovations on packaging usage and recyclability. Sounds exciting? Again, it does. And there's also a lot of inspiration out there. For example, the Alter Eco Company has developed the world's first compostable, non-GMO, non-toxic candy wrappers for its chocolate truffles. And the sky is the limit. We are looking for disruptive ideas and prototypes in this space. And we invite you to partner with us on this journey towards building a more sustainable future. And moving on to the last challenge, which I believe is very inherent in our Southeast Asian culture. And this is around gifting. Giving gifts and receiving gifts is part of our culture and our behavior to give something special to others, to recognize that they are special, to strengthen our bonds and our relationships, or to celebrate special festivities and occasions, or even just everyday gifting to brighten someone's day. With this, gifting is a very large business in Southeast Asia, well over $1 billion in size and growing year on year. Festive occasions in Southeast Asia are largely traditional festivals such as Raya and Chinese New Year in Malaysia, Ramadan in Indonesia, Tet in Vietnam, Songkran in Thailand, and Christmas in the Philippines. Beyond this, however, there are other occasions that we celebrate, such as birthdays, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, and in some countries, even days such as Friendship Day or Teacher's Day. And 
Most of our brands are ones that you and I loved and grew up with, such as Oreo, Cadbury, Kraft, Eden, Toblerone, Tang, Cozy, so we'll like to name a few. And indeed, most of these would have deep relevance and meaning during festive occasions. And while Mondelez has been doing successful festive activations over the past couple of years, whether it be via special packs or new products or campaigns tailored to local needs, there are still a lot of untapped opportunities to take our amazing brands to our consumers in the most distinctive and high impact ways during these festive occasions. Additionally, consumption actually peaks for most of our categories during the season, and this would contribute a big part of the year's sale. It is then definitely a must win to win the peaks and own the seasons while maximizing the opportunity to delight our consumers in a locally relevant manner. So the question is as simple as, how might we significantly increase the sales of Mondelez brands during festive occasions. So what does the gift of success look like? Well, we are looking for big ideas, solutions, and prototypes that can help us unlock new consumer segments, new occasions, and new business opportunities for our portfolio, um, for our brand to tap into, and really help us win festive gifting. And you want to do so in an agile and flexible manner without breaking the bank. So what could a winning solution look like in this space? Would it be new products, new formats, designs, new campaigns, new ways uh, to reach consumers? It could be any of these. But most importantly, how can we ensure that deep consumer understanding is at the core of the solution? And with this, we are looking forward to the gift of your brilliant ideas and plans. And this sums up the three challenges that we have for you. We hope that you are excited and raring to take up one of the three challenges. Good luck to all of you and hope to see you in one of the next sessions. And back to EG and Feliz. Thank you so much, Mao, for revealing the three challenges that our students will be taking on. And I know the teams here can't wait to start the competition. Yes, a very comprehensive and intriguing run through by Mao of what lies ahead for our audience. But before that, let's catch a peek of our Tiger brand ad before we deliver our next agenda. Stay tuned. Tuwing nandiyan ka, ako'y natutukso Hindi, hindi alam ang gagawin ko A serious? Kinagawa mo ate? Ito, kinokontrol ang pagkain Huh? Ito, try mo, leche flan flavor Tiger now has crackers in leche flan flavor? Wow, bago to ah! New Tiger Crackers, food trip na good trip! Also in ensaymada and plain flavor And there you have it, a bite-sized cracking treat just like the biscuit, right, EG? Yes, Feliz, and I super love the tiger crackers that we have here in the Philippines. And by the way, so for all the students out there, register your team now through the registration link located in the description box of this YouTube live stream video. That's right. And for the timeline of the Leading Edge Business Challenge, we will officially kickstart the journey through a Design Thinking Learning Lab session held on the April 19, 2021, followed by the next round of Stage 1. And in each of these milestones, your teams will have time to prepare their content so that you would need to propose and submit them to the sponsors. And after the stage assessment, you will receive a notification via email informing you if you have already successfully made it to the next stage of the competition, all the way up to the country championship. Indeed. So all the dates were flashed a while ago for you guys to remember. And for sure, it's going to be an eventful journey for all of you who will take part in this competition. So what are you, wa what are you guys waiting for? Form a team of three to four members now and register your team. They can be an undergraduate or postgraduate student with no working experience and anywhere in the Southeast Asia region, regardless of your course or university. Yes, you're all welcome to join us. Just click the registration link in the description below. 
Exciting times ahead, AG. I can't wait to see these te teams dish out their sensational ideas and show their best selves in the competition. And of course, with their friends. That is right, partner. But I think our viewers right now have a lot of questions going in their minds. So I guess it's time for us to open the floor for questions. Yes, honestly, this has always been one of my favorite segments in all the events hosted in Mondelez. So if you guys have questions, please feel free to drop them in our chat box. We will try and sample up at least a couple of questions from the audience. That is right. So guys, make use of our chat box, the right side of your video. So I guess while we wait for the questions to come in, allow me to ask the first question to our leaders. So I guess this question may sound a little bit cliche and probably you've been asked about this millions of times already, but please tell me, what is your favorite Mondelez snack brand and why? So I think Mao, you should answer the question first. Sure, thanks, E.G. Well, my favorite uh, Mondelez brand is Cadbury Dairy Milk. And uh, it's, it's because it uh, brings me back childhood memories. So before my father used to work overseas and uh, when he used to go back to the Philippines uh, to visit us, Cadbury was one of his, uh, as we say in the vernacular, you know, pasalubong or the souvenir or treat uh, that he would bring back. So definitely Cadbury brings back for me those memories of you know, bonding and cherished uh, moments. And now it's still in my pantry and I'm building the same bonding habit with my three-year-old son. Wow, indeed. It's a very, very nice pasalubong that you have there. How about you, Richard? Yes, well, I grew up in the UK, so I've got to say Cadbury is at my heart or in my heart as well. But my favorite brand right now is Toblerone. I love chocolate. Uh, I love Swiss chocolate. Um, and it also reminds me of those, you know, trips I used to do pre-COVID, uh, where you could get on a plane, be in an airport, buy your Toblerone and take it back to the family. So Toblerone is, is my favorite. Nice, nice. Thanks, Richard and Mao. Yes, that's great. We can already see how chocolate bars are making waves with our guest speakers. So here's another question for the leadership team. What makes corporate life and working in Mondelez fun and playful? Glenn, perhaps you'd like to go first? Yeah, great question. Thank you. I think for me, two things. One is uh, products and the other is people. On the product side, we are privileged to work with some of the world's most amazing tasty treats with Cadbury and Oreo and many others. And uh, I've got two boys who are now a bit older, they're 14 and 17. But when they were young, I used to bring home innovations that weren't yet on the market and pretend they were the decision makers to say, should we launch this, Joe, or should we launch this, Sam? And they felt like a million dollars, like I was sort of some like Santa Claus or, uh, you know, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. So it, the joy it brings to consumer spaces to be working and eating our, our wonderful products is amazing and my boys love that uh, and then the people you know always you spend as i said earlier you spend most of your time at work honestly and if you don't enjoy the people you're with it makes it hard and we have a lot of fun here as well as work hard and uh, you know we want to win uh, we, we want to compete hard but we also want to have fun and enjoy it and i i love the people i work with every day Okay, that's great, Glenn. And how about you, Ayon? Yeah, thanks. For me, working in Mondelez is fun also because of that people component that Glenn mentioned. I mean, in Mondelez, you can be who you are. I remember in the early days when things got too busy, our team would randomly break out into song. <laughs> and when I became a manager, I had a direct report who wore a tiara all day because working felt more playful that way. So Working in Mondelez is fun because you don't need to kind of fit in to be accepted. We just, we want to know who you are so you can just be you. Right. Thank you so much, um, Glenn and Ayan, for that. So while we wait for the questions to come in, well, how about you, uh, Felice? What is your favorite Mondelez snack brand and why? Okay, I'm definitely going to be a little biased here because I'm based in the Cadbury Shalom plant. So I guess it's only right for me to say the Cadbury chocolate bars. But to be honest, I think we have um, expanded into 
so much territory right now and beyond chocolates we have a great market for business even candy and our product categories are literally bustling here in mondelez and i'm sure you guys are familiar with some of the snacks but to be honest even before i stepped into a a graduate trainee role in Mondelez. I didn't even know that some of the brands that I actually loved were part of the Mondelez um, brand. So that's great, actually. And how about you, E.G.? Yeah, you know, that's a very, very hard question. But at the top of my mind, I guess probably one of my favorite Mondelez products is Eden Cheese. So it's a heritage brand here in the Philippines. I myself is a cheese lover. And I would remember back in my grade school days, my mother would always prepare me um, Eden Cheese with pandesal or bread for my breakfast before going to school as I wait for my school bus. So I think we have a question already here. So this is actually a question for Mao. So Mao, are we going to have access to consumer or market data from the Mondelez database? Well, thank you for the question. Uh, we would actually love for all of you to apply blue sky thinking and you would love your fresh eyes on the challenge. And with that, we would encourage you to maximize publicly available information and reports. Use your creativity and you know, uh, searching out and uh, putting this together. Um, so uh, that is actually what you would want the students to focus on. Right. Okay. Thank you so much, Mao. While we wait, I guess, for one last question, um, how about you, Feliz? Maybe you could tell us about what's your favorite thing about working with Mondelez. Okay. Um, I think my favorite experience from working with Mondelez is how helpful everybody has been and encouraging everybody has been. And it's going to be uh, about two years since I've been in Mondelez. And I think the experience has been so rich. I mean, I never even expected to be given the opportunity to host an event of this scale and this magnitude. So this is, this is going to be definitely like one of the key highlights for this year for me. <laughs> How about you? Right, Feliz. Um, I actually started Mondelez as an intern before. And really one thing that made me love the company so much are the people around me, from my coworkers, from my mentors, my line managers. All of them really inspire trust to me, just like what Ayan said, so I could really relate to her. So I think, yeah, that's really one thing that makes me love about Mondelez, really the people. Okay. That's great. We have a question actually from the group chat, uh, something proposed to Glenn. So the audience is actually keen to find out what kind of prototype you think is the best fit, uh, given our current direction that the company is taking. Well, the prototype, honestly, is the best thing that the consumer cares about. Um, the idea behind design thinking is that you really get in touch with the consumer needs. Um, and so I'd really encourage you to start there. And a prototype doesn't have to be a finished solution. The idea is you develop a hypothesis, develop an early prototype, and then you get feedback. So you might choose to do that with friends, with family, with others, and then you iterate quickly. So the process really is... To, to come up with a hypothesis based on your insight of what you've done learning from consumers, develop some hypotheses, turn them into prototypes, and then test, learn, and iterate quickly uh, in an agile way. So um, I won't be specific in terms of the type, because that will depend on the challenge you pick and what consumers care about. But that's, uh, that's the, uh, the intent of the process. I hope that helps. Yes, I think right. that's the answer to what Thank they were looking so for. Much, yep. Thank you so much, Glenn. Um, yes, I think we can proceed. So guys, if you have any other questions, if you have any other further questions or queries about the competition, you could just head on over to the Leading Edge Business Challenge microsite and feel free to drop your questions right there. And again, if you haven't registered, now is the perfect time to do so. Yes, that is right. And you know what, EG, since one of the promising awards the audience would get a take home is the most engaged team, we encourage you guys to post on social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn about how will you make it sensational with the Leading Edge Business Challenge. And don't forget to use the hashtags Leading Edge, Make It Sensational, and your team name. Yes, and we should definitely post later about this event, right, Feliz? Yes, but again, we should. Thank you so much to all of our audience and viewers for streaming all the way from their homes, all the way from SEO with us today and making this event full of energy. Yes, we also appreciate all of you students for your positive interaction and for making this event a lively one. It wouldn't have been a success if it weren't for you. And because 
wait to see you viewers make it sensational and head with us as we lead the future of snacking. That's all from me, your host, Felicity Nixon. And I am once again, E.G. Natanawan. It has been our pleasure to host this event for today. And we are signing off for now. Do more. Learn more. Grow more. Bring your own flavor. And help impact our innovation agenda. This is the Leading Edge Business Challenge. And from all of us to you at Monolith, stay safe, snack right with the team. Thank you. Thank you.